Hey everybody, Kevin Mulm here in the Office of Youth and Adult Ministry. It's a Two Minute Tuesday on June 20th. Well, I'm gearing up for JOP next week. I'm going to be real excited to be up in Browning, and we're actually staying at Heart Butte. It's a beautiful parish there. If you're interested in coming along, you can still do that. Register this week, dioceseshelena.org slash JOP. I do have scholarships available. want to make sure that we're not keeping any young person from this experience because of money, so reach out to me if you have questions about that. Uh, but pray for us that we have a really great week. Other than prepping for JOP, one of the things I'm working on is I'll get a registration page for our planning days, which we're going to be doing at Legendary Lodge August 14th and 15th. That'll be up this week. Uh, I created a landing page at dioceseshelena.org slash planning days. A little bit about this retreat, and, and I, I don't want to call it a retreat. It's really a planning days. The intent here is it's heavy on the professional development. We're wanting to reach out to especially the DREs, religious educators, catechists, teachers, uh, those folks that are in our parishes and in our schools who are teaching the faith. Uh, this, this, like most good things in diocese, this was not uh, an idea of mine, but something that came about from recommendation of, uh, after conversations from a lot of people. I want to give a special shout out to Dawn Brandman at St. Mary's. This was one of the things that she was excited about, uh, was providing some opportunities, especially for uh, the parish and school-based teachers and DREs and catechists. Of course, my office, I do youth ministry, so I'm always trying to gather those folks who, especially working in high school youth ministry, in, in the last several years, we haven't really done any sort of uh, targeted formation or programming for, uh, for parish-based and, and school-based uh, DRE. So that, that's kind of the hope here is to provide some formation and some opportunity to do collaboration and work with other colleagues from across the diocese to come together for a day or two. We will, of course, we'll do some retreat aspects. We'll have opportunities for prayer and we'll, we'll just kind of be together. But the intent, uh, kind of really two goals. One is to provide an opportunity just to space and a time for you uh, to sit down and bring your calendar and just plan out your ministry uh, for the year. And then the second thing that we want to do is provide some um, some specific formation as well as offer up uh, some ideas on uh, from publishers and programs for, for religious education in parishes and schools. So we started planning this or kind of talking about this idea a couple months ago and uh, just sort of providentially another kind of exciting update is that we are going to be expanding uh, the diocesan office of pro-life family life and evangelization i'm excited to say that brian barrett is going to be joining our team in august and and brian's job it, it's kind of still coming together but the idea is that brian would be helping to teach the teachers in the diocese of helena so really providing some um, some services and resources Resources and and being there for parishes and schools to reach out to some of the diocese, particularly around kind of the theology and catechesis. Uh, it's uh, Brian is a phenomenal teacher. He has a lot of experience. He's actually worked in the last year with our diaconate um, program. So really excited to welcome him. And he's going to be at this retreat uh, or this these planning days at Legendary Lodge in August. So really excited to kind of introduce him to the rest of our diocese. He is he's actually been the head of school at St Andrew's School here in Helena the last year. And on a personal note, I'm sort of uh, bummed to see him leaving St. Andrews because that's where my uh, kids go to school, which by the way, we're looking to hire a new head of school right now. If anyone knows anyone out there, St. Andrews is also looking for some great teachers. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to having Brian here at the diocese and working and partnering with him uh, on, on providing some formation. Again, just being a resource for those parish and school-based uh, catechists and theology teachers. So uh, look forward to welcoming him in August. Anyway, information about this retreat, I, again, I highly encourage if you're if you're a DRE, a youth minister, a catechist, this is going to be open really for anyone here uh, in the diocese that that teaches the faith. But you can find information, and I will have that registration open at dioceseshelena.org/planningdays. A couple of updates about the Bishops Gala. The last uh, couple of weeks, I've had a couple of youth ministers reach out to me about what's going on and do I need to sell raffle tickets and that sort of stuff. So I wanted to let you know that. First, we will not be doing the raffle this year. You've not missed any mailings. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably excited that you don't have to be uh, after mass selling raffle tickets and tracking down cash and all that sort of stuff. So we're not doing a raffle this year. 
Second, there will not be a Bishop's Gala this year. There will, however, be an event on that Friday, October 6th. That's that same uh, weekend that we have done Sunlight in the Bishop's Gala in the past. But it's going to look very different than what we've done in the past. The, uh, the idea here is that this would be done in conjunction with the founda uh, Foundation's Campaign for Catholic Life. And it's really more of a, a thank you and an invitation to those who are going to be uh, supporting the, that campaign. And the hope and intent is really that we would take this, uh, take this show on the road a little bit and that we would be providing smaller sort of uh, events like this in each of the deaneries throughout the diocese. Of course, that takes a ton of coordination and planning, uh, but that's sort of the hope. So what you need to know right now is you don't need to worry about selling raffle tickets, and there will not be a Bishop's Gala this year, although we hope to bring that sort of diocesan-wide event back in future years. Just a few other reminders, NCYC is November 16th to 18th, excited to be going back to Indianapolis. Get your, uh, your groups organized as soon as you can. We've got the registration open right now, dieceshelena.org slash NCYC. I will take registrations up in, until we run out of tickets. So it's, it's, I've got a registration deadline on there, but know that I will continue to accept registrations through the fall. CYC board registration will be available in July. Uh, I'll, I'll post all that information as soon as I can, but the, the dates and the meetings are going to follow basically the same calendar that we've done in years past. So we'll be up at Legendary Lodge August 25th through the 27th. We'll be in Helena October 6th through the 8th. We'll be in Deer Lodge December 1st through the 3rd. And then the, uh, the last board meeting of the year will be at St. Anne's Parish in Butte on March 1st through the 3rd. That's probably enough for this week. Uh, again, please pray for me. We'll be up at, at JOP in Browning next week. And as always, pray for me, pray for our bishop, and together we'll all pray for our young people. God bless.